Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rainbow Six Siege video. In this video we're taking a look at the official gameplay reveal for Thorn. We'll be breaking down her weapons, ability, and speculating on some of its uses in game. But before we get into the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for even more amazing Rainbow Six Siege videos. Plus you'll always have something to watch. It's a win-win. Now let's begin. First up, let's take a look at her loadout. Her first primary weapon and the newest weapon to Siege is the UZK-50GI, an SMG with 23 rounds in the magazine and a unique property. It fires 50 cal bullets, so in addition to being a seemingly pretty good SMG, it's also amazing at creating holes and destroying walls for your team, making those little peak holes and making sure everything can be set up properly. Other than that, she can use the M870 shotgun as her other primary, and for secondary, she has the TAC Ops 1911 or the C75 Auto Pistol, and her secondary gadgets that she can use are either barbed wire or a deployable shield, depending on what kind of strategies you want to go for. Moving on, we have her special gadget, the Razor Bloom Shell. The Razor Bloom Shell acts as an active landmine. She can throw it anywhere, since it sticks to just about anything. And once thrown, the shell will take a short moment to activate. Once activated, any time an attacker walks into the radius, its fuse will begin, then it will explode, instantly killing any attackers still in its radius. As with any special gadget, there are a couple things to note. For starters, it looks like Thorn will start with three shells. Now remember, this isn't from a live build, so this maximum of three shells might change. But it looks like three is what we're getting. Next, the shell can be destroyed in many, many ways. It can be shot, exploded, disabled by Thatcher, and destroyed by Ash, Sophia, Twitch, Zero, and all the other attackers that has an ability that can destroy gadgets. It gets destroyed by everything. Finally, it looks like the shell takes 5 seconds to activate after being thrown and will take 3 seconds to explode once triggered by an attacker. There are so, so many ways we're going to be able to use this. First up, we can of course use it as a trap. Use the UZK to open up a hole or a good hiding spot for it, then throw it there and hope the soft cover you hit it behind is good enough for an attacker to not find it before it detonates. Now that's the easiest way to use it, but just to be do that, use the ability to stick to anything, then just really, really set it up in spots attackers won't be expecting. Then of course there are the synergies. I think with the right team comp, Thorn is going to be a major player. You can use Malusi's Banshees to make sure they can't run out of the shell's range. You can use the shell and a frost mat to funnel people into the mat to get downed and then killed by the shell. Then you could have Legion lay down a goo mine near shell so the attacker can't even run away if they get hit with the goo mine first. There's just there's so so many opportunities for Thorn to synergize with her team, and I can't wait to actually use these combos and have some fun with it in game. That's gonna be it for this video. I want to hear from you all. Do you like Thorn? Do you think her gadget is gonna be any good? And are you excited for her new SMG? I don't know, so let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this new Operator gameplay breakdown, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for even more amazing Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm the Battle Moon, and I will see you in the next siege.